Good morning everybody. So the plan originally for today was to spend the day at the beach but we woke up and it's really cool today, it's quite cold. So we've come to Tavira instead, this old town here. Wait for the weather to get a bit warmer later on in the day and then go to the beach. But we were planning on coming to this place anyway, Tavira. It's one of the, the best old towns I think around the Algarve. So yeah, we just decided to, to explore this place right now. See, it is chilly today, right? Yeah. Carol brought a jacket. And you're still dressed like you know you do. Yeah, I'm dressed for the beach already. <laughs> So we're now right in the center of Tavira and back there you can see an old Roman bridge. So it has the seven arches, the Roman style bridges seem to always have those arches. I think originally it was a, a Moorish bridge from when the, the Arabs conquered this part of Portugal and also Spain. But yeah, the Romans built this bridge on top of it. All the towns, they're like similar, but they're still... Different. Yeah, they're still always different. I yeah. think this is the only one that has a river going through the middle that we've been to. Yeah, we've been to, yeah, and a Roman bridge. Yeah, and a Roman bridge as well. <laughs> There's also a medieval castle somewhere, so we're probably gonna check that out soon once we head to the bridge. Here you have some really beautiful old alleyways. The awesome designs as usual on the buildings. Oh, we even got an Indian restaurant. Mine and Carol's favorite Indian food. Another one. <laughs> this would be a great spot to have a meal, right? Maybe, I don't know where, where it's going to eat today. It's very picturesque. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to film everything. Yeah, everything's so cute. All the buildings, the, the so historical things. Yeah, the gardens and the plants. All these colorful flowers everywhere. Awesome palm trees. Beautiful churches, beautiful buildings. So we just stopped at one of the nice little cafes here. Got myself a cafe con leche. Carol got orange juice. What are those called, those little shots of coffee? Bica pingada. Bica pingada. What's that in English? Bica. <laughs> it's a macchiato. It's, it's like the macchiato, a... which is Italian. Oh, macchiato. She's got, she's got, she's got a little shot of it. Milk. Very, very, strong very strong, espresso right? with a drop of milk. Ah, okay. Still got some in there? Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've come to the most famous part, I think. So here we have a church from 1809. 
And that over there is the entrance to the castle, I think. The Vera Castle and Walls, 10th to 11th and 13th to 16th centuries. The Moors began building the castle between the 10th and 11th centuries. And I think later on the Portuguese finished it around the 13th century. You don't have to pay to come in here, no? no. For free? It's only this, because it's just made a garden of it. You can go up there, down. Oh yeah, the stairs there. So just like the castle that we visited yesterday, you can walk along the walls at the top. So from here you have even better views of that church there. So you can walk all the way along it. I don't think there's anything in here. <laughs> Wonder what this area would have been. So from this section here, probably get some of the nicest views of the town below. So we were just on that wall over there before. come further east from Tavira to a place called Cabanas and it's kind of funny that I've actually been here before so when I was around 12 years old a long time ago we came here on a family holiday and I do have some childhood memories of this place as well good ones also bad ones because this is where I found out that I was allergic to shellfish I had a big plate of shrimp and then uh, yeah threw it all back up but yeah, it has changed a lot. This walkway didn't exist either. That's what my parents said. So it's also a quiet little village, um, a lot smaller than Tavira, I think. And we're right on the lagoon here. So you can actually get a ferry down there to this island here, Ilia de Cabanas, I think it's called. And we did that last time. Then all along here you have restaurants, so we're looking for a pizzeria. We want some pizza. I think that's a school over there. <laughs> yeah, noisy kids. <laughs> yeah, they're cute. Turns out the pizza place was closed just like yesterday. So we've come to Indian, which we love, Royal Indian Tandoori Restaurant. And I think, I think I'm gonna go for this Sag Paneer. So spinach with Indian cheese. So that's eight euros. Probably get some cheese naan as well, three euros, and maybe a garlic naan, uh, 2.75. And I think for starters, we're gonna have some papadums, which is one euro and also some vegetable samosas so that's three euros so we've come to the last stop of the day which is called Casella Velia and this is where we've come to go to the beach so we were planning on coming here in the morning and it's heated up now so it should be a lot better yeah so this right here is why we came to this place actually looks way better than in the photos so i had no idea that algarve had beaches that white super white beautiful water as well so this is part of the old fort. I don't think you can go in there. You can just see the corner of it. And when it's low tide, you can just walk across there. Could probably even walk and swim a bit now. But I think there's some boats taking people. So I think we're gonna try that out and head over there, hopefully. How amazing is that? Yeah, it's impressive. I wasn't expecting to find something like this in the Algarve. Yeah, me neither. Like, uh, Philippines of the Philippines. Algarve. <laughs> yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, crazy. Just 
check out all these cactuses, guys. This is the real desert now. <laughs> all right, so we got the party boat. What was it? One euro fifty yeah. per person. Okay. Gold? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is ice cold. <laughs> I still can't believe this place. So I saw a lot of people in blogs saying that it was like the best place in the Algarve. And yeah, I can see why they, they said that now. Super windy, right? Yeah. But it's nice, it doesn't get so hot. Yeah, when we saw in the pictures, we thought it would be maybe Photoshop or something. Yeah, I thought people were making it look wider yeah, than it is. But it's very nice. Yeah, I think so too. So we've pretty much come to the end of our island now. We're just going for a walk. So yeah, you can see the other side there. Loads of fish, right? Oh, <laughs> oh the water's nice and clear here as well. You. Yeah, so I don't think we'll be swimming in this water today. We've been in water this cold before in Fejagudo recently, but it wasn't so windy. So I don't want to get in ice cold water and then be hit by wind on the way out. So the tide's going down even further now. Now there's other sandbanks appearing. This wasn't here when, when we came. Some over there as well. <laughs> Yeah, so in October, there's not many countries in Europe that have great weather like this, like the south of Portugal, the Algarve. So yeah, I think this is one of the best places to be in uh, Europe for the winter. Also get the awesome blue skies always. So yeah, I'm loving it so far. So we're heading back across now. We actually just saw some people walking because the, the tide's gone so far down. I think you still got to get quite a bit wet though. And you know, with my parents as well, I don't think they want to go in the water. So we'll just get the boat back. And I think the boat can take you to three different parts of the island. Um, yeah, we just came to Casella. I don't know where the other ones are. I think one of the other points was the one on the other side facing here. So yeah, there's quite a few options. I think we should have just walked back, yeah. but oh well. <laughs> yeah. So back here from the viewpoint, you can see how much it's changed now that the tide's gone down.
we're gonna be heading out now plenty more stuff to come from the algarve many more videos many more day trips that we're going to be doing from here even here in the car park it looks awesome so you can see some of the beaches way back there and this is just all the dry land yeah so if you like the video just drop a like to help support us subscribe to like see more videos like this follow us on instagram and i'll see you in the next